Hello, my name is Kenneth Paul and this is another project from my woodworking shop. This is a copy of a 15th century Glastonbury chair based on measured drawings from Daniel Dale's book Constructing Medieval Furniture. His last name is spelled D-I-E-H-L if you care to take a look at the measured drawings for yourself. It's constructed out of white uh, red oak and you can see where I put crenulations and quarter foils across the back and also decorated the back of the chair with intarsia lions and a cherry and walnut shield with a maple fleur-de-lis the intarsia lions are done in a curly cherry with walnut manes And you'll see that the chair is constructed with removable pegs so that the chair can be disassembled. Chairs like this were used by the clergy and needed to be knocked down to put into a wagon to be moved from town to town. You'll see that the wood is thicker than we would ordinarily use today because in that time most chairs were worked green so they started out with a heavier timber the seat and back are raised panels just the flat panel is sticking out you can see from the back the panel raising The dowels that have the pegs in them are milled to two different diameters. That they're one and one eight, but yet where they go into the uh, seat stretcher, they're three quarter inch. Instead of turning those on a lathe, all I did was I set my table saw at the proper height and just using my miter gauge. Passing the dowel over the blade brought one part of it to three quarters of an inch. I also carried the quarter foil design into the arms. I stained the red oak with Minwax Early American and then finished it with a standard polyurethane and then scotch guarded it down to a low gloss. From the original drawings, I did make some changes. Uh, Chairs were smaller back then. I made this chair taller and wider than the original 15th century chair. And when you take a look, if you should decide to build one from Daniel Dale's uh, drawings, keep that in mind. Uh, do a mock-up. You'll see that, in my opinion, the original measurements are a little bit small for today. So feel free to make the adjustments you need to make. All right, again, my name is Kenneth Paul, and this is another project from my wood shop. If you care to see more of these, this type of project, then feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the uh, subscribe bell, <laughs> you, know, you know the drill. All right, thank you very kindly. Have a good day. Bye-bye.